This is the brand new Tennessee Titans Stadium in Nashville. Costing $2.1 billion, this massive stadium is set to offer amazing features for both fans in Tennessee and the NFL community. It's aiming to turn the area into a top-notch sports and entertainment hotspot. But behind its stylish design and big promises, there's a lot of debate. Issues like public funding and design choices have sparked a lot of disagreement. Today, we're diving into the story behind one of the most eagerly awaited stadium projects, not just in the US, but around the world. Welcome to Nashville, famously known as Music City, a place that now earns more than $10 billion a year just from tourism. With its rapidly growing population and ongoing expansion, Nashville and its prized NFL team are eager to shine. The current Nissan Stadium is a huge open-air structure made of concrete and steel, and it has been the home ground for the Tennessee Titans since it opened in 1999. With a seating capacity of 69,000, it has hosted many games with cheering fans and unforgettable moments. But as time has passed, this grand structure is starting to show its age. Despite its nostalgic appeal, the current Nissan Stadium lacks many of the modern amenities you'd expect from today's top NFL venues. The open-air design is another factor. While it's perfect on a sunny day, the experience changes drastically when the weather shifts. Rain, wind, or cold temperatures can turn a day of excitement into a frustrating outing. Its outdated features and design made it clear that the Titans and Nashville needed something better. To assess how much it would cost to maintain the stadium until the lease ends in 2039, the city brought in an independent team for a detailed study. Their initial report showed that upgrading the old Nissan Stadium to meet modern standards would cost between $1.7 to $1.9 billion. Because of this, the Titans' ownership chose to move forward with plans for an entirely new stadium design. In October 2022, the city's mayor unveiled a highly controversial plan for a brand new stadium. The planned stadium will be located just to the northeast of the current one, which is now a large parking area. The design for the new stadium comes from Manica Architecture, a firm recognized for its significant contributions to major sports facilities in recent years. They have worked on projects like Allegiant Stadium for the Las Vegas Raiders, the Inter-Miami CF Stadium, and the Chase Center for the Golden State Warriors. This new stadium will boast a completely covered roof that spans an impressive 338,000 square feet. The circular roof made of translucent materials not only adds a futuristic touch, but also allows natural light to flood in and creates a bright and lively atmosphere for all events. This type of roof has been successfully used in other prominent stadiums, such as Sophie Stadium. Though they initially considered a retractable roof, it was decided against due to the high costs and low frequency of use. The exterior of the stadium will feature terraces and open spaces that provide fantastic views of Nashville, serving as vibrant social areas during events. This new venue is expected to seat around 60,000 fans, roughly 10,000 fewer than the current stadium, making it the smallest in the NFL in terms of capacity. However, despite this reduction, it still meets the requirements to host a Super Bowl. The seating layout is designed to provide better sight lines and bring fans closer to the action on the field, which is expected with a more intimate seating arrangement. The playing surface will be artificial turf, a choice that has raised safety concerns from the NFL Players Association. In total, the stadium will cover about 1.8 million square feet and will also include a 12,000 square foot community space. Several bars and lounges will be located throughout the stadium, ensuring that fans have prime viewing opportunities during games. In November 2023, a 20-year sponsorship deal was finalized, officially naming the venue Nissan Stadium. This name carries on the partnership that started in 2015, when the earlier facility was initially branded as Nissan Stadium. As construction of this exciting new arena begins, the name will continue to be part of the legacy. The groundbreaking ceremony for the new stadium took place on February 29, 2024, with the Titans owner, Nashville's mayor, and Tennessee's governor leading the event. They outlined the construction plan and discussed how the stadium would benefit the city's future. After this ceremony, construction officially began by clearing out the large parking area and flattening the ground. By mid-July, they had already excavated over 340,000 cubic yards of soil and poured around 2,000 cubic yards of concrete. 
Currently, some concrete columns and structural elements have started to rise, especially on the northern part of the site. The construction is projected to be completed by 2027, just in time for the Titans' 2027-28 season. Once the new stadium is ready, the current one will be demolished. Most sources suggest that the old stadium site will be transformed into a large parking area for the new venue. However, there are hints that the city might consider other possibilities, like building a future Major League Baseball stadium, though this would further reduce parking space. Only time will tell what direction they choose. When it comes to funding the new stadium, the total cost is expected to reach a huge $2.1 billion. Out of this amount, only $810 million will be covered by a mix of the Titans' ownership and the NFL. This contribution makes up only about 38.6% of the overall cost, and even then, not all of it is coming directly from the team's owners. Meanwhile, a staggering $1.2 billion will come from taxpayer money, which sparked controversy. This funding setup marks the largest stadium subsidy ever in the history of the United States. Many critics felt that this money could have been better used for urgent community needs, like creating more affordable housing. Multiple lawsuits were filed to stop the projects, arguing that it violated state laws and the Metro Charter. These legal challenges weren't easy to navigate, and the project encountered a lot of resistance, along with lengthy talks between the city and state regarding funding and lease agreements. It felt like these discussions were never ending. Despite all these hurdles, the council ended up voting 26 to 2 in favor of moving forward with building the stadium. Nashville Mayor John Cooper hailed this as a major win for taxpayers in the area. He pointed out that under the old agreement, the city of Nashville was mostly responsible for the costs of any upgrades or renovations to the existing stadium. Some people think that the team's ownership might have pushed for the new stadium to increase the value of the team itself. After all, if you can get a brand new $2 billion stadium and only have to pay less than 38.6% of the cost, that's a pretty sweet deal. A recent survey by the Beacon Center found that 61% of people in Tennessee do not support the state funding this new stadium, and it's hard to ignore such strong public opinion. However, this doesn't mean the new stadium won't have any positives for Nashville. It could actually help the city make more money by hosting a variety of new events. The true impact on Nashville's economy is still uncertain and will largely depend on the number and type of major events that end up being held there. Besides the Super Bowl, the stadium could potentially host Final Four basketball games, college football playoffs, and even WrestleMania. Despite the controversy, there's no denying that this project is ambitious and will draw a lot of interest from NFL fans. In a few years, Nashville might find itself with a new major attraction that goes beyond the famous Broadway. Just think about how many more tourists will be around. Nashville's famous honky-tonk bars will be busier than ever, and the local economy will be thriving. But as we look forward, one big question remains. Will this grand plan come to life, or will it turn into a massive mistake? The stakes have never been this high. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.